Hey, how's it going, y'all? This is another Minecraft-themed puzzle video. The puzzle this time is the 3D version of an easier 2D puzzle uh, called the Color Packing Problem, which was actually solved last year. So the plan here is to explain first the 2D puzzle and how it was solved, uh, and then second to explain the 3D version and what exactly the challenge for this video is. And then at the end of this month, I'll put up a second video with any solutions or fun facts to the puzzle that I find or that any of you send in. And lastly, I've been getting viewer solutions to the last few of these puzzles I've posted. So I made these docs here in my survival world to actually display some of the solutions. With all that said, we can actually talk about the puzzle now. So the 2D puzzle here, it's called the color packing problem. It has a fancier math name if you want to look up like the formal papers on it. The way it works is you start with a shape, uh, here just a 4x4 four four square, and a list of colors. Your goal is to fill in as much of the shape as you can with those colors, following a couple restrictions that control where you can and can't place certain colors. The restriction is that your first color has to be more than one block away from any other of that color. The second color has to be more than two blocks away, third color has to be more than three blocks away, you get the idea. So you do got to keep track of the order that you chose your colors in. So I have here red, green, blue yellow for one two three four so we'll take the second color for example the green one it has to be more than two blocks away from itself so if we look at any two green here and here uh, we can count one two three more than two blocks away. The red tiles just have to be more than one block away from themselves, so that just pretty much means they can't be like right next to each other. Uh, the distance is just counted block for block, and you can only move uh, left, right, up and down when counting. The yellow tile here is the fourth color, so as an example, uh, the smooth stone here indicates all the spots that you can no longer place a yellow tile, because it would be too close to this one. And then up here, uh, these are possible illegal arrangements, so, you know, red and green being too close, uh, this green is exactly two blocks away from itself, it does need to be more than two blocks away. As an example, I limited myself to 16 colors and tried to fill in uh, a chunk, so a 16 by 16 area. This was the best I could do by eyeballing it, so these glass blocks here are just marking the squares I wasn't able to fill in. The big discovery about this problem from last year is that it turns out any shape can be filled in with just 15 colors. If you want to actually see like what this solution looks like, there's a Quanta article where they have a great animation of it. It. And then lastly for the 2D version, I took a shot at making um, a repeatable pattern. So this is a big rectangle that's designed so that not only, you know, are all the colors in it legal, but you can place it next to itself and kind of like fill larger areas. It's certainly not perfect. Here I limited myself to nine colors and managed to cover uh, about 93% of the surface area here. Obviously you can use like any colors for any numbers. You just have to make sure you keep track of which are which like while you're filling out your solution. The 3D version of this problem is pretty much what you would just guess. It's the exact same thing, but you're filling in a 3D shape and you can count blocks not just left, right, uh, forward, backwards, but also up and down. So for example, if you place uh, your fourth color right there, this glass octahedron shows all the spots that you can no longer place another yellow block. A super easy memory trick for the distance is to just measure it by piston pushes. So if there were two blocks you're trying to decide if they're too close or if they're okay, uh, you can count how many piston pushes it would take to move one block to the location of the other. In this case, it'd be one, two, three, four, and yellow needs to be more than four blocks apart. So this setup right here would be an illegal way to place your fourth color. One of the frustrating parts of this problem is that it's kind of hard to like get inside of your solution to change stuff. Uh, so for working on these, it's usually better to actually space everything apart by one one, and then put it back together when you're all done. Here I was just exploring some different fun ways to visualize the solutions. Here I tried to fill in a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube with five colors. Uh, I, was, I used flower pots for one of the colors, just to kind of make it easier to see around. Here I only managed to fill in about 75% of the cube. So the formal challenge I'm giving here is to try to fill in these four shapes. So it's four cubes, a side length of 4, 8, 16, 32, Minecrafty numbers. I'm also gonna suggest the limitation of just using 16 colors. Uh, two reasons. One is that working with like 40 colors will be horrible with Minecraft's inventory. The second reason though is that limiting your colors actually doesn't change the problem much. The 2D version is a little more boring because we know 15 colors works for anything now. But with the 3D version, there's no amount of colors that will work for any shape. If you wanted to fill as much of 
3D space as you could, uh, you would have to use an endless amount of colors, and at best you'd actually only be able to fill about 80 to 90 percent of it. So I'm kind of jokingly defining Minecraft's color density here to be the highest percentage of a Minecraft world you can fill in using only 16 colors with this puzzle. But filling in an entire Minecraft world is uh, rather overwhelming, so instead that's why I'm suggesting these cubes. I'm also suggesting these doubling cubes as the sizes because I'm hoping that solutions for the smaller cubes can be easily reused or incorporated into solutions for the larger cubes. And by the way, these are the four docs I've reserved for 3D solutions. I'd be very pleasantly surprised if more than four solutions were sent in, but if there is an abundance of solutions, we'll turn it into a little competition. So each doc will go to the densest solution sent in for that size. For example, the 16 wide cube here uh, has 4,096 blocks inside. So that'd be a perfect score, which I'm very sure is mathematically impossible. Um, but whoever gets closest to that 4,096 number is who will get the dock. And then lastly, to poke your curiosity a little, I took just uh, the second color, here I'm using green, and just built up three possible uh, grids you could use to fill it in. So if you're working on the problem and get stuck, a good first step might be to try to figure out which of these grids is best for the second color. Interestingly, this last grid here is actually the 3D uh, version of the sugarcane planting pattern in Minecraft. This is the challenge video. I'll put up a solution video in a couple weeks. My name's Chris. Thanks for watching.